So, the Tokyo Ghoul manga ended, and what did you know, people admit it was bullshit all along. Pretty much the same thing that happens every time a popular series ends. They hype it as a masterpiece while it's airing, and then they crap all over it the second it's over. Because it's no longer giving them their weekly fix. That's the mistake any of you are making when you keep telling yourselves, it's the journey that matters, not the destination. You don't care about the dozens of problems a show has. This small review sums up most of them, and if you pay attention to what they are, you realize they were the exact same problems the show had since the pilot of the first series. It didn't get worse along the way, it was shit all along. But none of the towers of this travesty was willing to admit it, because that's not the reason they were reading it for. Here, let me remind you the actual reasons they were reading it for. Biblical symbolism, flower symbolism, this imaginary disease that's like common in Japan, and some fucked up torture, what the fuck. And once again, what did you think made the problem so obvious? Them repeating all the time. When used three or four times, they are not problems, they are deconstructions. You didn't see that coming, it skillfully subverted your expectations. You didn't care about how they completely destroyed the narrative because you were busy journeying through all the fucking flower symbolisms. But once Ishida ended the whole thing without bothering to give you any answers, not even the most fanatic tards amongst you are able to defend it. <laughs> well... That's it. It's done. Over. I mean, there's some things that were unexplained. It doesn't conclude everything. It, just, it felt like a very short summary on a lot of things. It's like Ishida just wanted to end the series. That's what it looked like to me. I'm sad. I'm sad. <laughs> I'm pretty sad. There's a lot of things that were left unexplained. Well, at least we got some closure with that. I would have liked more details on that, but I guess we're never going to get that detail then. This chapter is why Ishida is such a damn good mangaka. It's something that only a master writer could possibly do. 